Yo, what is going on, y'all? So for today's motivational word, check out the uh, Dragon Ball sweatshirt. But uh, for today's motivational word, what we got for y'all today is put that work in. So you're gonna put that work in, dude. It's something that I heard that I will never forget about. Come at every day like it's a new life. Put that work in. Be better every single day. That's what I got for you guys today. Enjoy today's video. Also, yo, y'all, if you guys have not been keeping up with the channel, then you guys don't know what our goal is. Our goal is a thousand subscribers. We're like at 890 something right now. So we're about to hit a thousand subscribers. So about a hundred something more subscribers till we hit a thousand subscribers. So once we hit a thousand subscribers, I want to do a surprise, I guess. It's like a thousand subscriber surprise. So make sure you guys go down below, hit that subscribe button, tap that bell icon. So you never miss another Zenicide drop but again. Hey man, get us a thousand subscribers and I'll be doing a thousand subscriber surprise slash special. Enjoy today's video. Yo, 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 y'all, yo. Check this out real quick. If you guys see from the title of the video, this video is called Should You Still Be Swap in 2024? Now, if you guys have been keeping up with my channel, then you know all the builds that we have going on over here. Let me just show you guys. Took the turbo kit off. It's in pieces right now. P20. This right here. B18. B18 B1. My Integra. This right here. B18 B1. The B16 head. It's an LS VTEC. This right here. B16 A2. The Civic SI. Yo. Yo. Yo, 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 what is going on, like, y'all? So, if you see from the title, and I was showing you guys earlier, all the B-Series you got here, dude, should you still be soft in 2024? What's the answer? In well, our opinions, yes. Answer is yes. Good. Answer is yes. Reliability, potential, easy, beginner-friendly, VTEC. It's more beginner-friendly than, than an actual K-Series, because K-Series takes more... Time wise, something we haven't done yet, but we're not we're not downplaying the K series. I do want to do K swap eventually. We're not downplaying it anyway, but the K swap is more expensive, more tedious. It requires more parts. So a K swap is a little bit more difficult than a B swap. So a B swap, in my opinion, is a bang for your buck. All you need is the transmission, the engine, and like the shift linkage, and just throw it in there. The white harness will plug right in. The fuel filter, the fuel. Uh, linings will fit right in. Um, you can use same fuel pump. Basically, same everything. Same radiator. Same, you know, same everything. The only thing you really need is the engine, transmission, the linkage, and the axles. And, oh yeah, the axles. And what else? And an ECU. That's it. Other than that, you can use everything. The same thing. It will fit right in. You get a decent amount of power, depending on what kind of transmission you get. And you what, can relay kind of, that power. What kind out. of B series you get? Like if you get like a B eighteen or a B twenty, those are more like like the easier ones to find. Cheaper too. Cheaper. Yeah. Or if you get like a B sixteen or a B eighteen GSR, like it'll be more harder to find. But you or B eighteen C type, type R, R engine. Yeah. Or B sixteen B. Or B sixteen B. But you know, you know, B B eighteen C five. You know, those are like the most expensive ones, and all the way at the bottom. I think the B twenty is the cheapest one. More, more like like i guess performance kind of swaps in, in a way but for a cheap easy budget build you, you gotta go b dude b20 throw a b20 b18 here. ls from integra you could go to i guess your local junkyard you might find one there or a b20 from a crv 
from DA Integras, the DC Integras, the CRVs, the what, the 9601, the first gen ones. None, nonetheless, though, they, they, they do pretty good in power wise. This right here that I have right here is a bone, bone stock LS Integra 01 manual transmission Integra. It's just the stock LS. I do have an exhaust on it, but other than that, just bone, bone stock. Well, this thing handles pretty well, dude. You pair it up with a good suspension components, some sway bars, traction bars, and your hidden corners pretty good. It handles and moves pretty nice. It's not too heavy. And if you want to turn it into a race car, you get an LS, you fully gut the inside of it, you put a VTEC head on that thing, which is not too hard to do, to be Just honest. Just to, you know, hold a little bit more that high That high-end power. So, a lot more higher RPM and stuff like that. You can turn a junkyard V Team B1 for like 300 bucks into a missile. Literally like this what, thing. It's literally, literally what this what thing I is. That. I got that B18 from a junkyard. I think I paid like 500 bucks for the whole long block. And then I just got a B16A head, threw it on there, and I just threw a turbo kit on there. And nice. That's all I did. And I understand this thing, this thing moves, but it's kind of scary. It's fully gutted. You got a VTEC it on there, a turbo kit, and this thing's, it's not, it's not slouch. It's, it's not I slouch. I built mostly, mostly this on a budget, but it's a good, you know, budget build. My B18 LS VTEC. It's really beginner friendly and it's really tunable. Like it's insanely tunable. You have no idea how, tun how insanely tunable this thing is. A stock, you can get a stock GSR, throw a turbo kit on there, some bolt-ons, dude, you will be pushing like 400 horsepower plus. That's how reliable these things are and easy to use. Or if you want just daily drive when you throw in a, even a B16 like in the bag or the M1 bone stock, it's so easy to swap in and it is reliable and it's fun and VTEC, you know what I'm saying? So in my opinion, a B swap is always like a next step after the D series. It's off of GSR, Valve Cover, dude. So yes, you guys should be swapping in 2024 still. It's easy, it's simple, it's reliable. You can track it, you can race it, do whatever you want with it. Yeah, it's just preference either way. It is a little bit more difficult to do a K-swap because you do need uh, different mounts, you need different wiring harness, you need different, different fuel system, too. different subframe. Well, it depends um, on what part you put in. Like, if you put in the EK, you need a DC, you need... EG chassis. If you have an EG, yeah. DC, you don't have to change out the subframe. But it's an EG, DC chassis that'll fit. Um, what else do you need? You need, you need a, sh a shifter. You need the cables, transmission cables. You need an adaptive uh, harness you need for adaptive your, harness. For the, you do the case you use ECU. So I feel like a K swap is not as beginner friendly. Yeah. Obviously, if you go from a D to a B, and then eventually K, that's a little bit yeah, more on the B series, easier you for just, you, you know. You can use the you know stock harness and then just get a B series ECU. It'll plug right in, and then like maybe like different if you're depends if you're doing like an OBD one engine, you might have to swap some sensors out, but. No, that's that's pretty easy. It's simple, dude, compared to K swap, which is why we haven't done it yet. But we'll, I'll, like I said, we'll eventually end up doing K swap, something I want to do. But for now, you know, B is the way. And if you're a beginner with the D series, get rid of the D series, get a B series. Uh, it, honestly, it's a big difference. It's, uh, it's fun, reliable, boom. If you get one with B tech, even better. But. The LS and the B20 will do just fine. So can you guys see it's it an LS. Look at it, B18, B1. You go to the junkyard, you get yourself a little LS. You swap, swap it one. in here. It, it won't look like that though. It will look like this. That still holds pretty decent power though. Say you race this thing, you get tired of it, you say I need more power. You get one of those heads. You throw it on. That, bro, this car is literally these two combined, huh? Yeah. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's a, it's a PR3 head. So yeah, it's, it's a B16 3. head with an LS block. You have one of these, you, need, you want more power. Well, you have a D-series, you want more power, you throw one of those. You want more power, you throw on one of those heads over there, and you make this. No, it's an LSV well, tech. Without, it's the turbo, yeah. without the turbo, I mean, even less. Oh, yeah, yeah, Eventually, once you throw that turbo kit on there and that skunk ultra manifold, 
Yeah, well, this whole bill, I, I got it all on, on a steel. That's why I put it like into my I got for Matt Cheap and everything Matt Cheap. That's why I was saying like it's more like a budget. Cause I found all these parts like on Facebook or like Offer Up, and I just threw it all together and yeah. This thing holds the power, dude. This thing holds the power. This thing compared to a D series, it's a world of a difference. Insane world of a difference, you know, but, there, but the D purple. series it, it's a good daily though. If you want to just daily and just drive it, it's reliable, but it won't put down as much power as let's say a B does, uh, straight out the factory because it, it does have dual cams. You put in some Scum 2 Pro Series cams. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys go down below, you hit that subscribe button, and you help us hit our goal to a thousand subscribers. We're almost, almost there. there, dude. Like 893 I think. This is the ZSI channel. We do a bunch of Honda content, so if that's what you're into, dude. Subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. <laughs> yo. Louder. Yo. Yo. <laughs> like, yo, should you still swap in 2024? It's basically saying. Should you still be swapped in 2024? We don't really own a single cam or anything else. Just only we have in the future. I mean, in the past. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and sh jump straight in. And you can use sync. Uh, <laughs> this is the ZSI channel. We do a bunch of Honda content. So if that's what you're into, dude. Subscribe and enjoy today's video. I mean, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. <laughs> I don't know, I was recording. recording.